Hi guys, this is Dave Bennett. It's October 3rd, 2015, and I want to show you how quickly and easily you can manipulate images with theme to HTML, uh, T to H A especially, uh, being having new features. So let's just take one of these and look at it. Okay, let's say this is the locksmith template, and I want to create one for a plumber. Uh, let's pick on some plumber. Let's say um, Elkhart <laughs> plumber. I just want to show you how easily we can manipulate things. So let me just click on something like uh, Shriner and Sons just because I'm going to pick on them. So here they are. Now, let's say I need to get this logo for my for the, the site I'm creating for them. Fine. I just grab and drop it. Drag and drop. And I need these images too. By the way, note, this works in Google Chrome. Okay, I don't know if it works in Firefox or Internet Explorer yet. Didn't used to. And I got to keep in mind that this is providing red blocks around the images. Uh, so either I need to match that color maybe uh, on the website, or I'm going to crop these images to get rid of those red blocks. And I can take an image like that. See all those logos? There's actually one image. Look at that. See it? One image. All right. I've got all these images here, and I want to put them up. But I'm putting them up on my on this template, so I don't want to get them all mixed up and confused with everything else. Okay, so let me just show you something there. I'm going to go to global settings, and then to get to the images, just click on anything that says browse because it's going to go there. All right, so let's just go here. Like, like if I was going to change the logo over here, it doesn't matter where. It all goes to the same place. All right, here's the thing. This is my locksmith, but I want to create one for the plumber, right, called Shriner. So I'm going to go to my Images folder, right-click, and hit New Subfolder. It's going to be Shriner. Okay, that's the client. So if I go there, I can put images there. Don't use the Upload button. Just draw a square, click and drag, draw a square around all your Shriner images that you put together in your desktop or whatever, and drag them over and let them go. That's it. All losslessly compressed and put up. See, they're all in my Shriner folder, so they're not mixed up with all my locksmith images. I could put them in here, but then it's just disorganized. It's hard to tell when you put tons of images for tons of clients, which belongs to which. Okay, having said that, now I got my Shriner stuff here. Let's say I want to get some images from Google Images. Just going to show you another one, again, just to make the point that you can do it. Okay. Google Images, uh, happy plumber testimonials or customers. Okay, there you go. A lot of these are staged. If I grab a small one like this and drag it, okay, it's going to be the small version, that thumbnail right there, the exact same size as that. But if I want to get the bigger version, whatever it is, I click it and it expands. Then I can grab it from here. Okay. And in the case of really big ones, they won't even fit in this box. You still have to view the image here. If you want to get the full blown up one, like look at this, 2800 uh, wide, that's not it. If I, I can grab this one, this is sort of a medium size image, so I can, I can get that one. But if I want to get the full big one, i got to click it, and then, you know, that's how big it really is. <laughs> and I can grab it and drag it too. Um, bah, copy and replace, yes or no, you know, cancel. If if it's trying to rename, let's rename some of these. Rename uh, generic-medium, right? And that way I've got room to pull this one down too. All right, there you go. And I can give them all names. That makes some sense. Now watch. I'm going to create that subfolder, generic, you know, whatever. Let me see, generic-plumber, okay, just to show you. Generic plumber. Now I can draw a square around those. Drag them. There you go. Big and small, they're all going to be uploaded. Right about done. There. They're all in there. All right. See how that works? You can put unlimited subfolders in there. Now, say you've got a locksmith, just to make another point, and you've, you, you're going to make a locksmith site for Bob. He needs some of those images. Watch this. I can right click, new, new uh, subfolder. Watch this. I'm gonna call up. I'm gonna call up Bob. Okay, Bob the locksmith. Now I need a few images, so I'm gonna hold down my control key while I select. That way I can pick and choose. So control, hold it down. Uh, I need that one and that one. Well, actually, that's a dentist. So I need that one and that one, that one, and whatever, that one and that one. Okay. Now 
what do I do? I let go of the control key, by the way. I just hold any one of these that I selected and drag it to Bob. And guess what? It's telling me the count. First of all, see that number five? It's five I had selected. So I can just verify that that was it. Whoops. One, two, three, four, and five. Ready? Neom to Bob. And then when I let go, it's going to say, do you want to move those five images here or copy them? Now I want to copy them. Isn't that cool that you have the choice? Okay. All right. What else can you do? I'll show you. Because if I go to Bob, I see they're copied in there. Those five are in there. Okay. Watch what else you can do. Let's say I want to zip up Bob's images because I want to move them somewhere else. I right click Bob. Okay. And I can see what my choices are. And one of them is download as a zip. And I can download it as a zip called Bob. There you go. See that? There it is, the zip file. So I can move it somewhere else. It's all organized. I can download Shriner. All right. Just give it a sec for it to load up the option and then download. And that'll be Shriner.zip. See how I'm dealing with multiple clients and I'm keeping track of all their images? I can do what I want with them, put them somewhere else. Okay. You can't put a zip file up. That doesn't make sense. It's going to say it's completely not able to do that. So what you should do instead, okay, is let me get kind of back where you can see. All right. What you should do instead is unzip the zip file, right? So if you're going to go to Shriner, you know, and you want to put images in there, then like WinZip extract to Shriner folder, you know, that way when you open it and you've got all these images, then you can highlight. What if there are copies like there are now, right? Then it'll actually create the second versions. Okay. Um, that can come in handy if you happen to have the same names, but you don't want to lose the original images you had. Sometimes you'll load up more logo images. You don't want to overwrite the original one. That's why it does a renaming to protect you. Okay. All right. Now I don't need to do anything with that. Now, what if I want to show you something else? What if I just want to zip up and download certain images? I can click that one and that one, that one and that one, that one and that one. Right click and I can download that as a zip file. Can you believe that? I can call it whatever I want. Um, uh, core. <laughs> and guess what that one is? If I open it, it's just those ones, those six. Isn't that cool? Okay. What else? I can even zip up a main folder like all of these is a stack. Okay. And it's going to bring that one down. And when I open it, it's got all the images plus all the subfolders with everyone's everything in there. Okay. All of those things are all in there. So you see how easy it is to deal with images now? And what is one good advantage whoops, to downloading all your images anyway? The answer is if you ever want to replace them, you kind of need to know what the sizes of them are. Here, so I'll just sort of extract. We'll take a look. Let me show you a last cool trick. Okay. When you're in here and you're looking at these images, if you hover over them, it'll tell you the dimensions, right? You want to see a quicker way of dealing with that? Watch this. I'm going to change this to details so I can see details. And so far, I see some things that are useful, but I really don't see dimensions. I see the type of file, the size of the file. I don't see dimensions. So if you hover up here, See the, the bars and you go a little further out, right click, then you can click dimensions. If you don't see it in here, hit more, you scroll down and find it, A, B, C, D, dimensions. There it is. Okay. Guess what? There are the dimensions for those images. That's too far away. It's hard to match them. So I'm going to drag this over and guess what? Now I can very easily see. Let's say I want to sort by dimensions. Ooh, those are the smallest to the largest, right? That oh, That's the largest, Twitter. <laughs> Fun. All right. <laughs> I could resize that thing down with something, right? Edit with, uh, like, open with, you know, Snagit Editor, uh, Microsoft Office, uh, Windows Picture Viewer, whatever, Photo Viewer, or Photoshop, something like that. And just change the size of any of these images, crop them or whatever, right? All right, there you go. There was your tutorial. That's how easy it is to grab them and pull them down. That's how easy it is to put them up. I could highlight all these right now, and I could upload the whole stack, right? Uh, it's that simple. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. Images are not so complex, so you really don't need to be scared about 
manipulating images, right? No such thing as a plumber template. We all call templates, whatever they are, because that's what they've got all over them. But you can absolutely take a plumber template and make it a dental template or a roofer template or whatever you want. Because you and I will give them names like plumber template, roofer template, but Google doesn't. Google does not care if this is for real estate or dental or roofing or anything. Google does not care what this is for. Uh, it does not think that's a law template. <clears throat> it just sees it as a template. It can be for anything. So you can just, the very act of changing the photos on a website usually is 90% of what it takes. Well, I can't say that. you got to change the content too, obviously, the writing. But changing the photos is probably 40% of converting from one industry to another. And then um, the color scheme is like another 10%. And then the content is basically the other 50%. And that's it. In other words, the only reason this looks like a locksmith template is because of the images, the content, and perhaps the color scheme. That's about it. Change the images, change the content. Okay, change the verbiage. Instead of saying, welcome to Lock and Key Shop, it says something else. Welcome to Chicago Plumber. Uh, residential stays residential, you know, but change the wording. Change the images. Um, and maybe the color scheme. And there you go. You just change the whole industry. So when you're buying these templates, it's awesome. You can use them for any industry you want. Okay, just so you know. All right. So I hope you find that interesting. Take care.